Here are the final balance changes coming to the next season of Clash Royale. Evolution Archers are going to have their health reduced by 20%, but to compensate, they are going to do 80% more damage. Evolution Barbarians are going to have their health reduced by 12%, but their rage effect is going to increase by 50%. Evolution Bats are only going to have their first hit speed reduced by 100%. The pushback on the Evolution Battle Ram will no longer affect heavy troops. For example, the Mega Knight and Giant Skeleton. Evolution Bomber is now going from 1 cycle to 2 cycles. Evolution Firecracker is having her HP reduced by 23%. Her big sparks will last 20% longer, her small sparks will last 25% longer, and they will now have troop slowdown of 15%. Evolution Knight is having his health decreased by 8%. Evolution Mortar is having his health decreased by 17%. Evolution Royal Giants HP is being reduced by 9%, but regular Royal Giants HP is increasing by 3%. Evolution Royal Recruits are having their HP reduced by 10%, but regular Royal Recruits are having their HP increased by 3%. Evolution Skeletons are having their first hit speed reduced by 25%. Evolution Tesla is having its HP reduced by 17%, but to compensate, it's now getting a Death Shockwave. Evolution Valkyrie is having its HP reduced by 4%, but the Tornado Damage is increasing by 11%. Evolution Wall Breakers are having the Runner's Damage reduced by 50%, but the Runner's Speed is increasing by 33%. Evolution Zap is having its second and third strike damage reduced by 50%. The Elixir Collector generating Elixir is now increasing by 33%, but the Lifetime is increasing by 32%. The first Goblin spawn from a drill is increasing by 60%. The Crown Tower damage from a Poison spell is also being reduced by 17%. Legit banger! Cannoneer is having its damage reduced by 5%. You're so dull. And the Dagger Duchess is having its HP reduced by 14%. But anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you enjoyed and comment below what you think about all of these changes.